crew might just have hinted at a hobbies expansion pack or game pack in the future, and some people in the Sims community and myself have a lot to say. This has been an area of discourse for quite some time in Sims 4, despite having tons of packs, there are some people that think that Sims 4 is still missing tons of hobbies. And we're going to get into first, of course, what this tweet inspired. This person said, I think the Sims 4 is missing a free time pack with actual hobbies that are in depth classes you can have, talents, hobby enthusiasm, contests, and more. I want sports, pottery, instruments, sewing, actual fun stuff to do other than clubbing and partying. And one of the producers for The Sims 4 responded with this thinking emoji. Now, of course, they do this kind of stuff all the time. I'm not saying this is confirmation whatsoever, but I do think they are potentially brewing something up. And I will also say we do technically have things adjacent to what this person was mentioning, but I think the way they're framing it is in Sims 2 terms. Of course, free time was a pack that came with Sims 2, which we'll get to in a moment, and you can also tell they're going for a more integrated approach. Rather than having random activities, have them kind of add up maybe even to a hobbies system. So we're going to go over some people's ideas. I'm going to go over what came in the previous Sims 2 game, and finally, I do think it is, of course, important to respond to what we already created currently have in The Sims 4 because, as this person says, they will never give us a free time expansion pack. It's very vague. We all learned that it separates content into different packs like they did for nifty knitting, jewelry making, and crystal creations, and so forth. And I will say that has generally been the approach of Sims 4. And while there are some cases where I would say there are some pros to this approach, overall I would agree there's less overall integration and obviously you have to spend more money if you want hobby hobbies in general, as they are arguably spread across different packs. But of course, before we get into ideas of what a hobbies theme pack could look like, it is important to recognize what kind of things we already have in Sims 4. As this person puts it, if you have certain packs, you have American football, which of course, keep in mind a lot of these are rabbit holes or they're not very in depth. We have soccer, cycling, gardening, dog walking, horse riding, swimming, working out, flower arranging, beekeeping, musical instruments, cooking, baking, winemaking, jewelry making, archaeology, bird watching, astronomy, acting, collecting critters, computer programming, video gaming, debating, robot building, shopping, which I don't know if I would include that, animal care, hiking, skiing, snowboarding, knitting, cross-stitch, and dumpster diving. And of course, as a caveat, as they say, some of these are more in-depth than others. So yes, it is true we have activities across packs. I will say that is across tons of different packs. Granted, not everybody's going to be interested in all of these activities. And I think it also brings to mind what exactly is a hobby? What do we mean when we say we want more hobbies in Sims 4? And how can we improve upon what we already have? And I myself also listed a whole list of things that we currently have in Sims 4. Again, we're probably going to have some disagreement on what counts as a hobby and what is not. But this, of course, is a cross many, many packs. And as you can see here, that of course is a problem because some people wouldn't want to buy all these packs. And I think some people do want it in a neater package. So the question is, if we have all these activities, what will we do with a hobbies theme pack? Now, I did like some of the ideas that D Sims came up with. Stuff for all ages like gymnastics, lemonade stands, easy bake oven. I absolutely love that. I actually had an easy bake oven growing up. Cooking and gardening for children, scrapbooking, quilts, candle making, mechanics, soap making, winery, brewery, and sculpting. Now please note this was tweeted out in 2019. So in fact, we did end up getting some of these things. But let's take a trip down memory lane and let's look back at Sims 2. Now with Sims 2, there was a whole hobby system and it was actually connected to personality and interests. As you can see here, an example of a hobby would be cuisine and a personality that would naturally go with that is neat and lazy. A Sims predestined hobby and level of enthusiasm for each hobby can also be changed. So this is what I mean when I say more integrated. Hobbies aren't just things that you can do as fun activities, but they're deeply integrated with your core personality and also your interests. And I think maybe that's what's really missing in Sense 4. It's less about just the individual activities and things to do and having them actually feel integrated and also meaningful. Of course, hobbies also were associated with career tracks 
contracts if you chose so. And of course, it's one of those interesting things because hobbies technically aren't inherently related to career. In fact, they're often associated outside of careers. But here, of course, you have cuisine, which would be related to the culinary track, sports, which would be related to athletic track, etc. But another really cool thing that Sims 2 did is have specific interactions that corresponded with different hobbies. For example, if your film and literature hobby was a thing, you could participate in a specific book club, or like getting special protein shakes for the fitness hobby, and so forth. So I think having unlockable interactions based on hobbies, and again having it integrated with personality, this just shows you the layer of depth and dimension. And this was from Sims 2. And so my theory is it's not just about getting more activities in Sims 4 that people are asking for, but potentially some of these people are wanting a more nuanced and integrated system. They had many different categories. I think they had about 10 different hobbies. And within these 10 categories, there were many different activities, flower raging, toy making, pottery, sewing, taking specific types of pictures, and drafting blueprints. Under the fitness hobby, you could of course work out and you could go jogging, but drinking protein shakes, yoga, tai chi. So you can see here, even though some of these things are not inherently really exciting, they do feel more integrated and more built out. You can see how this pack was more about just adding new activities, but really overall enriching your Sims lives. Now just for fun, I was browsing on the third Sims store, and I think there's some general objects we could do that as a separate video that could also tie into this theme. So for example, just having more sports equipment and even sports gaming table equipment. I know we still don't have a pool table. We could also even add things like foosball tables. We also could add more activities that build around the worlds we already have. For example, we don't really have anything like surfing. So even though we have boats, I do think there's a lot more water activities we could dig into. There's also things like a casino theme, which is more card games and some kind of chance, arcades. And I myself went ahead and actually just wrote down a list of ideas. I tried to sort them, but honestly, my mind is so chaotic right now. So the first category here is more sports themed things like badminton, wrestling, kickball, dodgeball. And of course, I do come from an American perspective. So if you have sports or activities that you would like to see, definitely let me know in the comments below. I even had things like color guard and zip lining. Now, of course, the problem here is that I don't think they could fully animate most of these things. You can let me know what you think about that. I do think some of the more physical activities tend to be trickier. And of course, the big elephant in the room is that Sims 4 already is not functioning super well for a lot of people. In calligraphy, origami, glass making, 3D printing, bonsai trees even, more the fashion design, artistic, you can go a cosplay, nail art, and we do technically have painting to nails, but really getting into nail art, hairstyling, makeup artists, fashion design. I do know we have a stylist, but it's not quite the same. D&D, Dungeons and Dragons, tabletop games would be cool. Escape rooms, fandoms, which there was something about fandoms on the 2020 survey, and also things like magic tricks and genealogy. Of course, this is just a weird wish list of mine. I'm not saying they should add all these to Sims 4. And in fact, I think this could be even suited for a future game. Right now, I don't really think Sims 4 needs more content in that we really need to take care of what we have first, but is it fun to brainstorm and think about things? Absolutely. As for the hint, I don't really know what it means, but like I said, I think this is less, at least for me, about adding more activities because I think you can add tons of activities and have them be very short-lived. For me, it's more about do they actually make an impact? However, I gotta admit, I'm not sure if Sims 4 can handle another integrated system. Continue to see improvements for Sims 4. I think that hobbies has tons of potential, but I also think we have different ideas of what hobbies means and also, of course, what people want to see. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think this was a hint for a hobbies themed pack? If we did get more hobbies in Sims 4, what would you want to see and how? As always, please take care and I'll see you in the next one.